Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the plugin link button or plugin link mode in Logic Pro. This is in Logic 11, Logic 10, Logic 9. It might've even been around in earlier versions prior to version nine. And don't let the terminology link fool you though. It does not link parameters across multiple plugins. You'll actually need to do something very different to make that work. What the link button does is it allows the plugin window or dialog to follow track or channel selections. So the plugin window or windows will update to show whatever plugins are on the selected channel without having to keep closing and reopening plugin windows. So it's a really simple, helpful workflow trick that will save you a lot of time, especially when you need to adjust a bunch of plugin parameters across multiple tracks. And while I'm going to demonstrate this with effects plugins on audio tracks in this video, this will also work for software instruments as well. If you right click or control click on the link button, you'll see that there are actually two modes, single and multi, and I'm going to show you both of these modes in this video, but for now, let's just go ahead and turn this off. And uh, let me just sort of, you know, show you the old way of doing things without link. Um, so for example, if I wanted to make an EQ adjustment, I'd have to open this up, make my EQ adjustment, close it out, and then open up the next channel EQ, pull that down here, make my EQ adjustment, close it out. And of course, you don't have to close out the windows. You can actually open up multiple plugin windows all at once in Logic. So I could have all four EQs out there if I really wanted to do that. Uh, but that's not really what we want to do. And so let's first take a look at the single link mode. So you can just click on it. It'll show purple. If it's not showing purple, right click or control click and select single. And so what this will do is it will show you a single plugin dialog or window for whatever plugin slot you have opened. So right now this is plugin slot one, plugin slot two would be the compressor, plugin slot three here is a Poltec EQ. So let's go back to the channel EQ. So again, I can make an adjustment here and then I can just click the next track and it pulls up the plugin that's on the first uh, insert slot, plugin slot there. And so I can make an adjustment. I can move over to the next track. You can also actually just click on the plugin itself, but you'll see that all of these channel EQs are all popping up in the same dialog. We're not getting multiple dialogs and we're not having to close things out and open them up every time. And we're also not having to move the dialogs uh, around on the window. They just pop up uh, in the same place where the previous plugin was. And that's how the, the single mode works. And you can click on another plugin slot, like maybe I'll go to uh, the UAD uh, Poltec here. Then I can go to the next track, which is Decapitator, the next track, which is uh, LA-2A, and the next track is another LA-2A. So this, you know, the plugins that are on those slots um, that are all on the same slot don't have to be the same plugin for this to work. Now, really the most optimum way to use plugin uh, link mode is to have all of the plugins on that channel strip up, or at least the ones that you want to make changes to. So I'm gonna pull up the channel EQ, I'm gonna pull up the compressor, and then on this one, we have the Poltec EQ. So what I'm gonna do now is right click or control click on the link button. I'm gonna put this in multi mode, make sure that all three of these uh, dialogues or windows have the link mode turned on. And by the way, if you're using single link, you will not be able to do this. So this is exactly why this is called multi link. And so what I can do now is I can make an adjustment to my EQ, I can make an adjustment to my compressor. I can make an, an adjustment here to this EQ. And then all I have to do is click on the next channel strip and it'll open up all three of those plugins on plugin slot one, two, and three for that track. So I can make maybe another adjustment here and then I can click on the next one, pulls up that track. I can make an adjustment here, go to the next track and it pulls up those first th uh, three plugins on that track as well. And then I can go back to the first one. When you're all done, it's very simple. You just got to turn off the link mode button in each of the plugin dialogs, and you're back to the way it normally works. So that's the plugin link button. It's a really simple way to keep you from having to constantly open, close, reopen, and move around plugin dialogs in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.